The actions that states are taking to combat inflation, which are likely to make the problem even worse, are something you won't believe. Additionally, important news from Social Security is about to be released here, and this video will provide you with all the information you need to know about it. All right, let's dive right in here. I am quite grateful that you have liked these films. Get a subscription if you haven't already. So here we go. As of right now, we are witnessing an increasing number of states and even counties do this. King County, located in the state of Washington, is the most recent county to accomplish this. Additionally, keep in mind that we are witnessing entire states doing this here as well. More of this will be demonstrated to you here. In King County, Washington, the minimum wage for the entire county has been increased to $20.29, which means that all residents of the county are required to earn at least that amount at all times. And we are seeing company owners stating that they are going to be forced to hike prices for everything that is sold, for anything, whether it be groceries, whether it be groceries, whether it be fast food, whether it be petrol, or anything else, because they are required to pay their employees a higher wage. It's true. Additionally, keep in mind that the state of California just increased the minimum wage to $20 per hour for workers in the fast food industry, as well as other types of employment. There are other states and counties that have raised their minimum wage in this locality. It is important to keep in mind that even in other states, the minimum wage has been steadily increasing for years. Check out this location. In the year 2020, the state of Florida had a vote to increase its minimum wage to $15 per hour, with the increase occurring in stages until the year 2026. It is expected to hit $15 per hour. All right, as a result, it has been climbing up there in stages. For the time being, the hourly rate is $12. New York City and parts of its suburbs have increased their minimum wage to $16 per hour, which is an increase from the previous, from the previous rate of $15 per hour. As of right now, the new minimum wage for the rest of the state is $15 per hour. This is in addition to the fact that a number of other states have exceptionally high minimum salaries. It is important to keep in mind that I am going to see a lot of people saying in the comments area that the minimum wage in our state is still the same as the minimum wage in the federal government, which is $7.25 to the dollar. But nobody is going to pay for that. Nobody is going to pay that here because, as you probably already know, nobody is going to go and actually work for that here. The minimum wage in the state of Ohio is $10.45.00. Think about $10 an hour, right? However, it is important to keep in mind that McDonald's, which is one of the greatest employers in the United States, is currently recruiting for a wage of $16 per hour. I've attached a picture from the McDonald's where I work. In fact, I was able to see it and take a picture of it. The open availability crew is starting at $16 per hour, while the limited availability crew is starting at $15 per hour. I believe that this is for part-time workers, therefore they are starting people at a rate that ranges from $15 to $16 per hour, despite the fact that minimum wage is $10 per hour, at a rate of $10 an hour, thus no one is actually being recruited. Furthermore, even if your minimum wage is set at $7.25 five hour, nobody will actually be employed for that amount since nobody is willing to work for that much. The level of competition is just higher than that. And this is a significant factor that contributes to the rise in prices across the board, including the convenience shop, the petrol station and everyone else. It is important to keep in mind that companies such as UPS are now responsible for paying their employees $100,000 annually, which includes bonuses and you know, all the other things that are included in their remuneration. And just, I mean, if people are getting $16 an hour minimum just to start pay at McDonald's, then you know, everyone else with any other type of qualifications has got to be making more than that, or else they would just go work at McDonald's. This is the case if everyone is making the minimum wage. At the same time, this is driving up the prices of everything. All of these proprietors and companies are being forced to hike the prices of their products and services. After that, you start to notice things like this creeping up on you. In the next two years, California will implement a covert increase in the petrol tax of 50 cents. A tax increase in which the new tax rise that is going to take effect in the near future is a tax on the tax. A tax hawk from the Republican Party has stated that this will be a new tax. In addition, keep in mind that California already has the highest taxes or the highest petrol prices in the country. Despite the fact that the air quality regulator report is relatively unknown, it is possible that a long-standing program to reduce emissions may result in an increase of 50 cents in the price of petrol within the next two years in the state of California. The California Air Resources Board CARB, which is the principal environmental regulator in the state, uh, said in September that the price of petrol will increase by approximately 50 cents per gallon in the following year and every year after that in order to contribute to efforts to clean up the air. It is important to note that the price increase does not include the state's existing petrol tax. Always keep in mind that California is the state with the highest population in the country. Imagine that the price of their petrol was increased by 50 cents. According to Fox News Digital, Republican State Senator Janet Nguyen, who is considered to be one of the most vocal tax hawks in the legislature, stated that the covert tax rise will have a negative impact on the majority of California state residents. That will people who are in the middle class and have modest incomes are unable to purchase petrol, which means they cannot travel to school, job or the doctor's office. However, nobody is aware of this. What I believe is that people simply consider it to be a tax 
and as a result, they are unaware of the distinction between the state tax and the carbon tax. A tax on a tax is a good analogy for this. It is at this time that the latest announcement from Social Security is made public. The cost of living adjustment estimate for 2025 is slightly higher, but the premium for Medicare Part B may cancel it out. So here are the specifics. Following the announcement by the government that the inflation rate for the month of April was in accordance with the projections of analysts, the most recent estimate of the cost of living adjustment for Social Security for the year 2025 increased to 3.2%. As inflation continues to remain elevated beyond the Federal Reserve's objective of 2%, new calculations show that the cost of living adjustment projection for 2025 has increased during the whole year. February's rate was 2.4% and March is at 3%. A year ago, prices increased by 3.4% which is a decrease from the 3.5% increase that occurred in March. According to the Consumer Price Index for the United States Department of Labor, the measure of the cost of goods and services across the economy on a monthly basis increased by 0.3%, which is a decrease from the previous month's increase of 0.3%, which is a decrease of 0.4%. The CPIW, which stands for the Consumer Price Index for wage earners and clerical workers, serves as the foundation for the call-up. Despite the fact that this number decreased to 3.4% from 3.5% in March, it's still above the 3.2% COLA that Social Security recipients started getting in July from the previous year. The products that seniors spend the most money on, on the other hand, have seen a large growth over the course of the previous year. There was a 7.7% increase in hospital services, 11.2% growth was seen in transport services, shelter increased by 5.5%. A 5.1% increase in electricity was reported by the government. However, Social Security wants to offer you a rise of, what was it, 3.2% of your current salary. Imagine that, a number that is lower than all of those people. Additionally, Johnson stated that the anticipated premiums for Medicare Part B for the year 2024 are likely to consume the majority of the increase in COLA prices, if not the entire amount. According to estimates provided by the trustee of Medicare, the standard Part B premium for the year 2025 will climb at a rate that is about twice as fast as the rate of inflation. This leads me to believe that there is a significant problem with the government. According to the Medicare trustee report that was released the previous week in 2025, the trustees anticipated that the monthly premiums for Part B will increase by $10.30, a total of $185. When compared to $174 in 2024, this is a 5.9% increase. The rise in Medicare Part B premiums does not take COLA into consideration. In spite of this, Part B premiums are one of the costs associated with retirement that are increasing at the highest rate, and these payments are deducted directly from the benefits that are received from Social Security. Because of this, I have the impression that there is a significant problem with everything. There is a limited amount of money available for Social Security, so don't forget that. A report that was just issued stated that if they do not make significant changes to Social Security, it is expected that the program will run out of money in a little more than 10 years. Therefore, if you are still contributing and if you are still working, the best thing you can do is make sure that you are contributing to your 401k, your individual retirement account IRA, and other similar accounts since the government does not know what they are doing. As a result, you should make sure that you are paying to your own retirement because Social Security is only a modest supplement. And yes, they are not doing very well with Social Security. Please share your ideas with me in the comments section below. Regarding all that is going on here, I will keep you updated. Please make sure you give this video a like and share it with everyone who could benefit from hearing this information, which is most likely include everyone. To ensure that you do not miss out on any new videos, please click the bell icon and subscribe down below. I will continue to keep you updated. Each new video is uploaded to this website at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Click here to view the enormous new changes that were just announced and will have an impact on millions of people in the United States. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the future video.